I've just got a super quick little video for you today. I just wanted to share with you some new products that I've got for my Etsy shop. And I want to start off with these wonderful little laser cut um, house kits. They're super easy to put together and you can either leave them as they are or you can decorate them as I'm going to do. Even though they're so easy to put together I'll just show you how easy they are. So let's have a look at each one of them. We'll start with the smallest of the three houses and this is just called a wooden house and then you've got medium wooden house and tall wooden house and it will come in a nice packet like this. Each kit consists of seven pieces so you've got your front piece which has the door in it, the back, two identical side pieces, the floor piece and two roof panels one is slightly wider than the other and the narrower one will slot into place first. I'll just put those pieces to one side. So start with your front piece and just turn it away from you like that and then slot the first side piece into place and so that this slot here is at the back so you just push it in and then slot it down. Same with the other side piece and again so that slots at the back and then that is where the floor piece attaches. So just slide the floor into place like that. Bring in your back piece and it doesn't matter which way around they go. Slot that in like that and then pull that up. So you'll now have a nice flat floor area. And then take the narrower of the two roof panels. Slot that into place like that so that the little hole is at the top there. And then the remaining panel. And what that little hole is for is that you could thread a piece of string through there if you wanted to make this into a hanging ornament. I really love that. <laughs> such a, a nice size, just fits in the palm of your hand. Okay, let's move on to the medium house. Again, this kit consists of the seven pieces, front, back, two side pieces, this time they're not identical, you've got a little round window in one of them, the floor panel and the two roof panels again, which are slightly different sizes. So again, exactly the same thing, take your front piece, insert one of the sides, making sure again that that slot is at the back, the other side piece in there, put that down onto your work surface and slot the floor piece into place, jiggle it about a bit to get it lined up, otherwise that's a nice tight fit which is what we want, just come up a little bit. and then slot your back piece into place and then again take your narrower roof panel first so the holes at the top and then the remaining roof panel like that changed camera angle to get all of this one in and again exactly the same configuration your two side pieces are slightly different in that you've got an arched window at the bottom on one of the side pieces and a square window on the other side just to make it look a little bit different I suppose and the front we've got this lovely sort of little star window above the front door which is a nice feature so same thing again take your front piece and slot one of the sides into place so that that groove or slot there is towards the back. Same with the remaining side piece. Close the sides in so you can slot the floor panel into place. Like that. And the back piece, you might just have to do a little bit of jiggling to get all the slots lined up. Lay it down if that makes it easier. And 
and slot that down into place. Let me come a little bit higher. It really is a tall house, isn't it? <laughs> I just really love these. And the same thing again with the roof. So you're putting your narrower panel into place first. Super simple, isn't it? Little bit of jiggling. They're all laser cut, so they are going to fit. If you're having trouble, it just means you need to jiggle it about a little bit. Final roof panel there. Push it into place. Like that, so you've got a nice level ridge along there. That's the tall one. Let's bring them all in there. I really love these. I think they would work well as Christmas tree decorations and you could leave them exactly as they are. I'm actually going to decorate mine, I think. But maybe we'll do that in another video if you'd like that. As you can see, I didn't use any glue. But once I've decorated them, painted them and what have you, so I'll, I'll take these apart to do that as well. And then I'll just apply a little bit of glue to each of the slots and I'll actually glue them together just to make them a little bit more solid but even as they are that's a really nice tight fit and a really nice solid piece and if you're anything like me you're probably looking at them already and having loads of ideas of things that you could do with them we could even put some floors in there and have um, some tiny furniture in there that might be a fun um, little series of projects the same with these. And you could leave it so that you've just got one roof panel that you can remove to have a little peep inside. Another new product are these packs of 500 matchsticks. Now these range from 1.5 to 2 millimetres in thickness and they're around 42 millimetres or one and five eighths of an inch long. And they come in handy for all sorts of miniature projects. I'm always looking for tiny pieces of wood like this to use. And you can use them for handles or draw stops or a number of smaller projects. They're just really handy to have. Also got these packs of jingle bells. So just little bells that you could use for a number of craft projects. But I think I'll use these as baubles um, on a small Christmas tree or something like that. And there's a hundred in that pack in assorted colours. And I've been looking for packs like this for quite a while. And it's a pack of 48 sheets of 12 by 12 inch um, paper. And it's 160 GSM, so a nice quality craft paper. And you get 24 different coloured sheets in there, including black and white. And then just a wonderful assortment of colours there. And useful for so many miniature projects. And the final new product, and I really wish I had more time for this video, um, because I'd like to demonstrate these to you, but it's this sticker paper and you'll need an inkjet printer to use it. You've got 10 A4 sheets there and you can basically print anything onto them, cut it out and then use it as a sticker. And I've got a um, messy shed video coming along where I use images that I found on Google and I just print them onto paper and then just glue them onto various um, items such as dowel or wood sheet or plastic bottles and, and things like that um, to make little accessories but I wish I'd have had this before I did that because this is this just makes it so much easier the only thing is you don't want to waste the paper so you really do need to try and fill a whole sheet before you print that off but if you're doing something like the shed or the craft shed um, project then that won't be a problem and then just to let you know, back in stock, I've got the linen thread in white and brown. We've got those fabulous Moroccan tiles, but only in the blue. The pink ones are actually sold out at my suppliers, but I will keep my eye open for those, so they will be back in stock. I've also got that fabulous wood effect 
um, paper, again in the 12 by 12 inch sheets, and the household pins which are really useful again for pin hinging doors and things like that but also your miniature sewing project. I've got the wooden dots back in stock in both the dark and light wood and there's now almost 300 lines available in my Etsy shop so do pop over and have a look. I'm sure there's something there that you'll need for your miniature hobby. So like I said, just a really super short video to show you a few of the new products that I've got in my Etsy shop. And I hope, like me, you absolutely love these little houses. Now again, I didn't order too many of them in, so do hurry if you want to order. But don't worry if you miss out, because I will be getting more of these in. So thank you for watching. I've got another video coming up soon, which will be the next in the Messy Shed series. And I'm still working on editing that sideboard buffet video, which is going to be quite a long one. So that will be coming up um, later this month as well. For now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.